Uh, so I use some cinnamon, ground clove, uh, ginger. These idiots over here. And, uh, I tell you, I don't know what they think. What's this doing. old man doing over here trying to film and be part of YouTube? What's going on, George? People filming. Doing all right. Doing all right. <laughs> yeah, I just want to kind of show them before I got sick. When Matt first came down, we took some cabinets down that we used to have here. And so, anyway, Matt helped me take them down. And I left a void there, so I created a little corner piece. <clears throat> it came out really good. Hey, which is up here. Created that, put that in there. Added our little light. We're not sure if we're gonna keep this light here or not. Yeah, yeah, we're talking maybe putting the hanging lights. Yeah, we there, thought about maybe some barn style. It's or definitely a lot of... more light though. It right. is, but the thing was, we've had this for a while, and right. when he saw this and showed me, I thought, oh, that'd be so cute. Um, I thought the hanging ones would annoy me, but um, I don't know. That light Depends is on... so bright. It's right. bright in the living room here. Maybe, maybe you yeah. know, just hang them down about so far yeah. so they don't interfere with your head or anything and it would probably look good and then you were going to move that over there instead of just right. getting rid of it so. but that looks good but yeah, yeah. i thought yeah why not and of course i don't think uh santa stuff will be living here all the time but no. but you yeah. have I stuff like, for every holiday like and every it. season so i like changing it yeah. i need to get back to my black eyed peace people so you can <laughs> okay your camera rolling you can keep yours rolling all on. right well, all right so i got the water crazy and the black people. eye I got the water and a black eye. See, piece. they don't know what they're doing. And, yes, I Save people live much. action. All right, and just some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Y'all know I'm blind, so it's just some whatever. Do you go by hearing it instead of seeing it and tell them the salt you're putting in? Sometimes I have to hold my hand there to feel it, and I'm under salt now, I would say. If I'm shaking, I'm sorry. I'm not using a tripod. And just black pepper. That should have stabilization. Turn it up on high and um, add some bacon grease. Some to me is like that. It'll melt in there and it'll be delicious. So a dollop? <laughs> a dollop. I'm just going to put it here. And same thing as some salt and pepper. I think I'm going to go take a walk around the yard. All right. Out here. Don't let the dogs knock you down. Do you have your phone? Uh, yeah. You know your life alert? <laughs> yeah. I'll send text. <laughs> It's still oh, 80 degrees around here. Humidity a little bit high, but it's clearing out. You can see our little hummingbird bushes trying to make a comeback in this winter. It is starting to set in. Everything's going to go dormant. And they tell me Take it easy out there. Take it easy. I don't know about that. Take it easy. Hey, I'm going to walk around a little bit. Get my exercise. I said the more walking the better. But I'll tell you what, when I had the uh, catheter in, They are the noisiest things. I tell you, it's, but yeah, those catheters are not uh, not fun at all. And uh, I know people have to use them all the time. And like I said, it was uh, I had it for I don't know about ten days. They said I could take it out, so I did it here. I deflated the little balloon that was in there and uh, didn't have to pull very hard and it, it came on out but uh sure felt good at first you know you lose your ability to uh not tinkle <laughs> so the incontinency is uh it's it's going to be there for sure uh but i 
been doing the uh, exercises as the doctor said, the Kegel and you know, Kegel, Kegel, whatever it is. And um, I, uh, I'm able to control my bladder a lot better. I only had to get up um, about three times last night. And of course I'm having to wear a, a Depends undergarment, you know, for leakage, but Actually, uh, last night, like I said, I, I got up three times, went to the bathroom, and actually was uh, easier than normal. <laughs> uh, hadn't had a stream like that in quite some time, but uh, anyway, I, I feel pretty good, and I don't know if you noticed the, the pond is getting down low. I'm going to out here there's a that berm that's going through i'm going to continue building that up uh higher i want to put it maybe another two and a half three foot higher all the way down and then that way i can do something with here by putting my own well water in and keeping it full without it going across into the neighboring uh, wetland so but i'm doing pretty good um the doctors um, I communicated with my doctor. He gave me a pathology report on the lymph nodes. I think they took out, I don't know, I, th I thought he said something like 20 lymph nodes. I might be off on that. But uh, anyway, uh, everything came back cancer free. And, and he was hooping and hollering in his communications to me. And that was, you know, heck of a New Year's to, to, welcome in the new years with cancer-free uh, lymph nodes and so that you know lets him believe that you know it hasn't metastasized anywhere else and he was able to remove so well, we're just hoping and praying that he got it all and i think he i think he did um, i feel good my uh, incontinence is getting uh, better controlled um, my stomach area uh, y'all can pardon it but i had the da vinci robotics machine where it's kind of a strange ordeal um, i saw it when they rolled me in and i said yep that's the uh that's the dude that's going to do the operating but it wasn't quite how I thought it was going to happen the doctor sits separately at a table and virtually is looking into my stomach and controlling everything himself on the da Vinci device and of course the robotics they had me sitting probably at about a 25 or 30 degree angle upside down and uh the device went into my stomach and he did everything from where he was sitting the robot did it all there was an assistant assisting the robot but other than that it's amazing the technology that they have and um, would I recommend uh, this type of surgery for anyone um, if you have a disease that is going to take your life, then yes, it's well worth it. I'm hoping at this point, since uh, possibly the protocol that I have been taking all along, I know it hasn't hurt me for sure, because there was such a conflicting report between two pathologists and how much cancer there was and where it was located. I don't care. I know what happened. I started getting cured right away. And I just think that uh, I reduced it down enough to where this doctor was very excited that he had been able to get everything uh, he believes. So, anyway, I won't uh, bother y'all with all of that. I just wanted to give you an update that I'm doing well. And thank you very much for all your prayers because I know 
that is what uh, headed the whole thing to begin with so you know you got to give credit where credit's due and uh, the good Lord has spared me uh, some agony that I knew I was going to endure uh, with the incontinence issue and things like that and I think uh, he he knew how it was going to really affect me and my lifestyle and my ability to uh, continue on you know doing what I'm doing every day um, so you know being around Melanie and Matt and everything I, I thoroughly enjoy you know being alive with them and uh, it's a good feeling so y'all just keep up the prayers for not just me but for everyone involved in this journey uh, everyone in their journeys in the world that need prayer because this time and day is not looking too good so hopefully from our mouths to his ears you know but nonetheless he's in control so not preaching just stating the facts so anyway i want to go ahead and knock this one off and i hope y'all guys have a great day and uh, melanie and i'll do a, another video uh, with everything matt's over there at the uh, the uh, smoker getting that ready so i'll go see if he needs any help talk to y'all later